All right, let's move along here. We've got Megan Sheehan, Dyson, and Elise Jones warming up together. And I was in the broadcast booth here for this one, and I saw them warming up, and I thought, you know what? I bet some people might be interested to see what they're doing here. So notice that they're dinking cross court, and these are high quality dinks. They're not just bumping it back and forth. They're staying low to the net here. They're making each other move a little bit. They're changing directions. They're playing forehands and backhands. A lot of good variety here. And again, it's the quality that I'm paying attention to. Sometimes we see people warm up for dinks and they just kind of bump it back and forth. That's not what we see here. Notice how much time they spend hitting cross courts. That's because this is a really common pattern in pickleball. When one of the players does miss the ball, they quickly run to pick it up. Again, maximizing the reps that they can get. And again, really focusing on those cross courts, which are gonna be so important once the match begins. Again, you see no wasted time here. The ball does go errantly out of play. Quickly hustle to get it, loosen up a little bit. All right, let's move on. So now you see at the back of the court, you see Jones hitting drops. And on the near side, you see Sheehan Dyson. Look how she is playing these volleys and sometimes she's stepping out. Again, we see a lot of this uh, kind of action when one player is being picked on, especially on the left side of the court. Interesting to see how she's practicing these in the warm up. That's really important. Warm ups are for getting ready for the shots you're going to need during the match. And so I thought this was kind of a unique thing to notice, seeing that the players, again, setting up the way they would in a real game. All right, after Sheehan Dyson's done at the net, she's gonna back up a little bit, but notice she doesn't go all the way back. As Jones comes forward, Sheehan Dyson, she stays at three quarter court, sometimes known as the transition zone. And it can be kind of awkward to hit balls from this position on the court, but it's really important to be able to do so. Very often you find yourself backing up when the other team is on offense, you gotta be able to play balls from there. Or if you're moving forward and you realize you better put on the brakes, again, that three quarter court play is important. She then moves back to the baseline. And just notice here, Callie Jo Smith and Corinne Carr, they come out. So, quick break in the warm up, say hi to your opponents, a little chat with the referee, figure out who's going to serve first. Joan says it's going to be me. And also, notice now everything that's going to happen is all down the line. So, it's a good thing that Sheehan Dyson and Jones got their cross courts in when they had the chance, when they had the full court, because you don't often get to hit those cross courts when your opponents are on the court as well. All right, there's been a lot of slow stuff early, and now what do they do? They start to speed things up because they know against Carr and Smith, they're going to have to get ready for balls coming fast at them. So they speed things up a little bit, ask the referees to move, so they can now play some simulated points. And even though it is on the down the line, you know, you don't really serve down the line, but look, they can still kind of get into that mentality, right? They want to not just warm up their bodies, but warm up their brains to have that kind of attitude of playing those competitive points, even if it's just on the down the line. All right, let's move on again. 